the spirit of this session is more about not just developing skills and competence in rendering a couple of notes and some syllables that we sing in some rhythm it's more about how much else goes behind the excellence that you will see in great artists what else is there what is the x factor what really makes those artists great what is the mental aspect of it as you all know the greatest of artists have still been born and evolved on this planet only they didn't all jump up from pluto or jupiter or somewhere else right so they are from this planet but they still have achieved some kind of excellence so it is possible for all of us to do that the idea is that we should we should all aim for that and we should believe that we can also do it so a lot of that self belief passion commitment with good direction the direction is very 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 important many times we can have passion and talent but if the direction is not good if you are not lucky to have gurus who have that evolved outlook then it's still going to be difficult for us to progress so that is very important and the reason that uh, we emphasize on good gurus be it uh, kabir or be it purandar das or be it uh, you know utigadi venkata kavi or tyagaraja muttu swami dikshit there are so many of these people have spoken about guru they have all revered they have worshiped gurus because the guru's greatest contribution and when i say guru it is not necessarily only the person who is taking class for us it could be anybody who inspires us it could be a different artist who may just be performing something we may actually grab something from them we'll be inspired by that anybody who inspires us is a guru so from that sense the guru's greatest role is that they would actually save us decades and decades of time because for us to have figured out something it would take probably 10 20 30 years but when we see some great artist doing it then it may strike us immediately and then if you are especially also having the circumstance where we can actually go and discuss it with them they'll be able to give perspectives and that is how i was very lucky because right from say samangudi shrinivas sir or ms or dk patamal mlbm us father chitravina narasimhan or brindama all these people they shared their perspectives they were so generous to share their perspectives so also the accompanists who accompanied me on stage uh, senior stalwarts even when i was like very very young like 5 or 6 years old or even later on when i was 10 or 12 they were very very generous in sharing their knowledge and perspectives that's what shapes artists and so that is very important music cannot be learned like a mathematics class where everything is just factual so you really get a lot more of the peripheral knowledge now if i look at a beautiful composition by say tyagaraja or purandar das or utgard venkata kavi or anyone you learn so much from that composition if you read a ramayana of valmiki you are able to get so much so all this peripheral knowledge that we get so when we look at a composition of tyagaraja like say kshira sagara sayana so if he talks about badra chala ramadas in that you will you will end up actually if you are diligent you will go and read up about badra chala ramadas story so you will really start understanding what tyagaraja meant what what was his state of mind when he made that when he just composed that one line so we develop that peripheral knowledge and all of these contribute to the renditions just learning the song from youtube or somewhere else and then rendering it is only the first step the more peripheral knowledge we are able to develop the the more cultural knowledge we are able to develop the more awareness we have even about simple things whether how to how to sing a song how to tune into that so we are going to start with those basic things how to 
have the mindset when we are going to sit even before we start singing or playing an instrument.